Hey, what's going on, Read My Lips people? And we are back. So, look, just something I wanted to talk about. Uh, there's a sort of stigma with um, politicians that they're sleazy and underhanded and bought um, and puppets. And for the most part, it's true. <laughs> Um, I'm not arguing that in the least bit. Uh, so true, in fact, that when uh, there's a politician or somebody running for office that comes along that is the opposite of that, that is the opposite of norm, um, you and I usually get taken aback. And I call them once in a lifetime candidates where they're honest and they're upfront. And they mean what they say. And they say what they mean. And uh, we actually have candidates like that in this election, in this primary, right? Once in a lifetime candidates that you're not going to see them again. Uh, come or come hell or high water, they have your back. Okay? And even if you don't agree with their policies, they're genuine people. And there's three of them. There's three of them. Bernie Sanders is one. Look, I have Republican colleagues that don't agree with the goddamn thing Bernie Sanders says. They don't agree with any of his policies. But every single one of those Republican colleagues, you know what they say? He's a genuine guy. He really believes what he says. I don't, I don't agree with what he's saying. Right. That's what the, that's what the, my Republican colleagues say. They don't agree with his policies, but they believe what he's saying. They know he's not bought and they know he's not fake. Right. And I agree. He is not bought. He is not fake. He's a once in a lifetime candidate. You will not see another candidate like Bernie Sanders. Right. Another one is Tulsi Gabbard. Right. I don't agree with her Medicare choice. OK. At all. However, she means what she says. I genuinely believe she means what she says. She's not bought. She's not a puppet. And she willingly throws herself to the fire and catches seat and becomes smeared. But she fights for what she believes in. And you can't tell me when you listen to her talk about regime change, now to stop these regime change wars, that she doesn't mean that shit. That she's, pa she's not passionate about that shit. She is. She's a genuine person when it comes to that. She's not corrupt. Bernie Sanders is not corrupt. And the other person who is not corrupt is Andrew Yang. He is a once in a lifetime candidate, just like Sanders is. And look, he's the kind of guy that I feel like you can sit down, have a fucking beer with, have a, a genuine conversation with, You'll have laughs, and he's just an all-around good person. When you see him, you don't see politician. You don't see puppet. You don't see corporate ball. You don't see that. You don't get that when it comes to Andrew Yang. And it's one of the things I appreciate about him. And it's one of the reasons why when people say, I'm part of Yang Gang, I'm voting for Andrew Yang, all I can do is give him a head nod. Because it makes sense. Now, when somebody tells me they're for Pete Booty Judge or Kamala Harris, I'm like, uh, you need to take Amy Klobuchar. Take your glasses off. Take them, take them blinders you have on and see these people for what they really are. I can't even take you serious when you tell me some of the people that you're voting for. I can't take you serious. You're not a serious person. But I can see why somebody would vote for Andrew Yang. I can see why somebody would vote for Bernie Sanders. I'm voting for Bernie. And I can see why somebody would go for a Tulsi Gabbard. I can see this. And the best example I can give you, I can give you many, but one of the best recent examples I can give you is they were talking to Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang was getting interviewed. And they straight up asked Andrew Yang about the corruption in Ukraine having to do with Biden and his son. And he gave an answer. Let's watch. Um, so to me, it's a very small sacrifice to say, look, while I'm in office, 
for four or eight years, none of my family members should be um, on the boards of, uh, I would say, even not just any foreign company, any domestic company, because uh, you have to be honest where people know that that could end up influencing uh, decisions at the highest level. And it, asking your family to take a four or eight year hiatus from serving on board seems to me to be very reasonable. So boom, he just flat out told you how he felt. There was no, uh, but maybe this and, uh, but this, and uh, oh, I'm not sure about this, or covering for Biden. It was boom, he gave you the answer straight up. That is as, as authentic as it gets. You don't see that shit. You don't see that. People, these politicians that are running, they tiptoe around or, or they kind of bow out of the question. We've seen that often. We've actually seen it often with Elizabeth Warren, especially as of late. Now, Elizabeth Warren has this, Elizabeth Warren has this air about her, right? That she's a uh, progressive with a sprinkle of corporatism and a like sprinkle of corporate Democrat, but, but, but she's progressive and she's a straight shooter and she's got a plan for everything and that she's really smart. Well, Elizabeth Warren was asked the same question and gave a very, very different answer. Let's watch. Plans. Could you say whether or not under a Warren administration, would your vice president's child be allowed to serve on a board of a foreign company? No. Why I don't, not? I don't, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I have to go back and look at the details. Do you think plan. that could be a problem? I, I have to go back and look. Okay, so come on, people. Come on. Seriously? That was bad. That was bad. Miss, I've got a plan for everything. That was bad. Look at Yang's answer. Look at Warren's answer. Who's playing politician? Who is playing politician? You know, let's put numbers aside. Let's put economics aside. Right? Look at who do you think is being the more genuine person? And, and, you know, some people say, oh, this is because Yang's so green. You know, it's because maybe he's being a little naive. He hasn't learned how to play the political game yet. Well, I counter that with him being the way he is, is why he's getting so far. And nobody knew fucking Andrew Yang seven minutes ago. We all know who the hell Elizabeth Warren is. We know who she is. We knew she was vying for a position as vice president. We knew she lied about her heritage. We knew, she, we knew she lied about her heritage so she can get a recipe in a goddamn book. We know who Elizabeth Warren is. And don't get me wrong, she is on point with that wealth tax. Even though Bernie Sanders goes a bit farther than hers, which I approve of, there is no doubt in my mind that that is one thing she's been vying for. But that's just, that's, that's a, that's a microscope. That's just pointing, that's just a uh, laser pointing in on a certain area. Let's look at her as a whole. You think she's as a genuine person as Andrew Yang? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I just had to report on this because it was fascinating. You don't see honest to goodness answers like that. Look. Everybody's covering for Biden. Everybody's covering for Biden. Right? He has a shot at going against Donald Trump. And they don't want to hurt him if he were to get through that primary. But I think it's too late for that. He's going to go on stage and say, Donald Trump, you're corrupt. And cor Trump's going to say, you're right. So are you. Welcome to the club, brother. Yeah. The, you need a genuine straight shooter progressive person and don't get me wrong yang's got that libertarian air about him but uh he's genuine as all hell and i just had i had to speak on this i had to cover it um i'm watching his campaign closely if you look at my channel there's a lot of yang content on there right there's a lot of bernie content i cover it's just me 
there is no team to cover this channel. And um, I have to research and look at my, look myself uh, on how and what these candidates are doing. And watching Yang recently has been fascinating. So has watching Bernie. So has watching Tulsi, even though, again, that Medicare choice uh, option she chose, I'm not... I'm not too uh, great, not too happy about that. Um, but yeah, honest, honest answer, honest candidate. I had to cover it. Um, and you know, when you're finished watching this video, just really think about um, the two different responses you got from the candidates. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty amazing. But look, if you from what they're saying, if you don't vote for Elizabeth Warren, you're sexist. So, uh, you know, maybe you need to ignore, ignore her answer. Just vote for her anyway, right? Right? Bullshit. If you like what you see, if you like what you hear, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and if you don't, let me know in the comment section why. I'm always down to talk about it. Hopefully, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.